A new solid machining planar rough process is being introduced to SmartCam Advanced Milling, Advanced Turning, and Freeform Machining version 17, designed to generate toolpaths to machine a variety of part features from a stock model. Planar rough contains all the capabilities of the existing solid pocket process, including the new restricted island top and shelf machining, also introduced in version 17, plus new capabilities specific to the roughing of open regions. Planar rough can be used to create toolpath for pockets, open pockets, and protruding cores on both prismatic and complex models. A single regenerable process element captures all the machining parameters and geometry selections, making it easy to modify, recall, and regenerate the process. We'll begin our demonstration by using the planar rough process to create toolpath to machine three open pocket features using a series of open profile passes. First, we will show you the process being used on just one of these features. Using the tangent surface picking, we will pick the walls of our first open feature. Then using the group arrow, we will select the top surfaces from where the cut begins, and the floor surface at which it ends. Next, we will select the stock boundary from which the open pockets will be machined, and turn on the display mode's thickness option to visualize the 3D stock. We will use a flat end mill to rough our open pockets. On the planar rough panel, we'll set our width of cut, a depth of cut, and specify a 3D finish allowance. We'll also turn on the NZ level and set that to the floor of the open pocket. In this first example, we will generate a single Z pass in order to clearly show our toolpath. On the Open Profile tab of the Parameters dialog box, we'll define the desired cut method for open region machining and how to order the passes. In this case, we'll use a profile strategy with alternating connected passes. We hit Go to create the Open Profile Roughing Toolpath. Let's use Show Path to verify the cutting motion. Note how the region is machined using an efficient back and forth profile toolpath which starts outside the feature and works its way toward the model. Now that we've verified the tool motion, let's remove the last process container and apply the strategy to all three pocket areas in a single operation. We'll add the surfaces of the additional open features to the group we previously selected. This time, we will set a depth of cut that will generate multiple Z passes. We again hit Go to create the new toolpath. Let's use ShowCut to simulate the material removal for the three open pocket features. This open region machining strategy may be applied effectively to both prismatic and freeform surface features. Next, we'll show how planar rough can be used to machine a protruding model, such as a core, from a surrounding stock model. In this example, we have a model that has many unique horizontal shelf levels that need to be machined. It also has a stock boundary coincident with the periphery of the model. Once again, we'll turn on the Display Mode's Thickness option so we can view the stock model in 3D. First, we will select all the outer model surfaces which have been placed in a predefined group and then the stock boundary. We'll use a flat bottom end mill to rough our model. On the planar rough panel, we'll specify our width of cut, depth of cut, and a 3D finish allowance. In the parameter options, we'll set the critical depth machining option to clean up the island tops after they've been exposed by the next lower cutting depth level. We'll hit Go to create the toolpath. Notice how all our critical horizontal faces have been cut independent of our cut depth increment. Let's view the material removal simulation using ShowCut. 
Notice how the machining begins from the outside and works its way toward the part. And that all of our horizontal faces have been machined. Now we will modify the toolpath and use a large depth of cut to view just the horizontal critical face areas. Notice how all the horizontal faces are cleaned up to their respective boundaries. This feature saves time by eliminating the need to cut the entire stock area at each horizontal face level. Our next example will demonstrate how planar rough allows a part with any combination of features to be machined in a single process. It will also show how a stock can be defined with voids and how only areas containing stock are machined. Note how this model contains an inner bore feature, a raised collar, four open pockets, and many closed pockets. We'll turn on thickness to view the 3D stock. We can see that a rectangular outer stock boundary and an inner circular void have been defined. We'll now rough the entire part model from the stock. We'll select an end mill to perform the roughing operation. On the planar rough panel, we'll specify a width of cut, depth of cut, and finish allowance. Since our pocket contains some open pocket regions, We'll check to make sure our open profile parameters are set to the desired profile cutting method. This time, we'll turn off the connect and alternate options so the open regions are cut using a series of individual climb cut passes. Since this model contains one main critical shelf area around the outside, we'll select the options tab and set the critical depths to machine the entire level at that depth. And we'll choose Go to create the complete roughing toolpath. As you can see, Toolpath has been generated to machine all the part features. Notice the toolpath inside the bore considers the stock void and only machines where material exists. A series of profile cuts is applied to the open slot features and a spiral pocketing pattern to the closed pockets. We'll use Show Cut to verify the material removal. Notice how the outer region is cut using an outside in spiral pattern. and the inner bore region and pockets using spiral out. The open pocket areas are cut using climb cut profile passes. The new planar rough process saves time by allowing you to rough virtually any feature using efficient and adaptive cutting strategies. Planar rough can be used to create tool paths for pockets, open pockets, and protruding cores on both prismatic and complex models. A single regenerative process element captures all the machining parameters and geometry selections, making it easy to modify, recall, and regenerate the process. To receive a no-obligation trial of SmartCam version 17, please email us at sales at smartcamcnc.com. For more information on SmartCam v17, please check the SmartCam CNC website at smartcamcnc.com.